have the slides of the students who have accompanied us all day from the um, uh, Lycée des Arts et Métiers. I just wanted to share some, some thoughts with you, uh, things that struck me today. I often, when I attend a conference or I moderate, you know, I'm a journalist, so in the back of my mind I'm thinking, what would I write about this day? What are the really important things that stuck with me? And there were a couple things that I wanted to share with you. Also the contrast with what Gilles just said. Uh, I heard in the session with uh, Sebastian and uh, Jackie Moulin, Jackie said the absolute opposite of what Gilles just said. She said, some companies are afraid to bring in designers because they're afraid that the designers will hijack the process and the product. And I'm sure that in spite of enlightened companies like Gardula and, uh, and uh, the other two in the films, <laughs> fight, yeah. <laughs> that, um, that there are still many companies who are afraid to bring in designers. They're afraid of losing control. <laughs> oh, they're great. <laughs> it's a shame the students aren't here anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, so knowing how um, important the issue is of design also in promoting industry in Luxembourg, I was surprised this morning to hear uh, Bert Krieps say that he knows that the creative industry creates 4.5% of the gross national product of Europe, that the creative industry creates 3.8% of the working force, and is the strongest growing economy in Europe. And yet at the same time, he said, our cultural and creative economies in Luxembourg are not strong. And so if he had still been here, I would have asked him, what are you waiting for? It's so obvious that this is the future and that this is such an important new aspect of the economy and for so many of the uh, uh, craft industries that are still in Luxembourg. I guess the motto is, don't wait, go for it. And that is now possible because of something that Jürgen mentioned. Machines are now so small, look at all the laptops we have in our, in our bags with us today, that it's possible to bring production and manufacturing back to the city. Not only back to the city, you can bring production and manufacturing to wherever you are, to your kitchen table, to uh, an abandoned uh, industrial area on the edge of the city, to downtown Luxembourg. It can be everywhere. We no longer have that modernist separation of working and living, and I think this gives us immense possibilities. I was surprised to hear Mr. Denevald say that design has been a priority for the Luxembourg economy since 2009, that there is now a design action group. He didn't say what the design action group actually does. I would have liked to have heard from him. Uh, and there's also a tax law that facilitates patents in order to attract design talent. So it seems to me, my impression from today is that all the tools are in place and that we're waiting now, perhaps we're all holding our breath, waiting for that moment of implementation. Because I think it's obvious to all of us that this is also for Luxembourg, especially given its magnificent location in the middle of the .eu feeling, that this is the new economic model next to finance and services. There's a world to be won, so I would say, go for it. Just trying to detach myself and sort of get the feeling of the event, uh, a couple of things struck me. Um, the first was there was an ethical undertone to many things, which I think is very positive. And what that seemed to be about is saying, well, if we're going to do something, let's have a purpose. Let's have a bigger purpose to that. And um, it was summarized in, in, in John Thackeray's uh, phrase, interesting question or switch. It's not about the world of design, it's about designing the world. Um, I sometimes say, don't try to be the most creative place in the world, try to be the most creative place for the world. A similar thought, which is really saying everything needs a purpose in some, a reason for being, rather than pure self-expression. And I felt that that was a bit un, in some of the talks that, that was going through. That was just one theme. The other thing within that was this thing about where are ideas coming from? 
co-involvement, co-this, co, co, co. CO seemed to be the, the, the phrase that, that came through everything. And I, I personally happen to think that, that that is true. There are far more uh, resources uh, around. But that leads me to my second theme, that they only really come when you begin to firstly recognize the world from different perspectives, from a 360 degree perspective, for example, looking at it, the, the world of, I don't know, Luxembourg through the eyes of 10 year olds, 80 year olds, men, women, whatever. But just once you look at the world in that way, there, there more, more things uh, potentially can happen. Um, that was one thing, but the other thing was, I suppose, uh, the, 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 the empowerment agenda that was in that. But what that led to really was, well, how can we think in this integrated way? I think this thing about integrated thinking came across all the time, which I think is to some extent responding to our frustration with the sort of silos we operate in, whether that silo is a department in a public entity or the silo of public, private, community-based organizations and so on. And in many places I go to, it's that that drives people crazy. Um, the interesting point then was really about how do you get there, and I think Jürgen's presentation was partly about how can you do a bit of a provocation. I think Hans's thing is also about a provocation in some sense, to sort of jump people out of the narrow funnels one tends to go into, which are often quite essential, but they're about habit and just doing the things as they are. I know I'm not talking about design, but I just somehow felt that this thing about uh, thinking in broader ways was, was a real theme that struck me in, 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 in many of, 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 of the presentations. Um, and that all came back to the phrase that ran through the whole day, all the time, even in these summaries just now, which was mindset, mind shift. How do you shift the mind? And to some extent, I suppose, giving these cards is about shifting the mind. And it was really interesting uh, and painful to watch as someone who, who was trying to be nice to each other was forced to give someone a whip. And uh, it reminds me, it had the same sort of embarrassment as you used to see in The Office. I don't know if you ever used to see the program, the television program, The Office, where you go, oh, Christ, I can't bear it. At the same time, I felt when I saw people giving the whip, they didn't really want to do it. And in the end, in our group, they got out of it by giving um, Mike Keedling all the whips and the sugar and loading everything on him because they didn't really want to make a choice. So anyway, I, anyway, this was all about mindset. The other thing that struck me um, was, and this leads ultimately to my recommendation, when I was just talking in the corridor, so to speak, there was a sort of continual theme which, uh, you can't do it in Luxembourg. Oh yes, you can do it in Luxembourg. Oh, it's all impossible in Luxembourg. Luxembourg's too lazy, complacent, got boring people in it. And the other version of, no, underground, there was a lot happening if only you let it out. Uh, now, um, I don't know how the balance of that will, will, will ultimately pan out in the end, but it also expressed itself in the conversation about should the creative factory be 20 minutes away or, or, or in the centre of town? And I think the, the solution was obviously the one that I think came up, which is both and uh, the version of the creative factory in a town where there are lots of people has a completely different type of spin-off than one that is 20 minutes away, which means it is a destination to go to. You know, they're just different in some sense. Uh, my recommendation, I didn't realize we had to make the recommendations, Jürgen, but anyway, my recommendation, if there's another one of these events, is to have a really interesting question at the heart of it, a question that is, has tension in it and has so much tension in it that you have to react and you have to respond uh, to it, which helps the discussion. A question a bit like design, you know, John Thackeray's quote. They're, they're very good, and I think that, that conferences or symposia that have a difficult question that generates tension usually is more likely to be successful than not. Well, anyway, this was good. Thanks a lot. <laughs>